Welcome back to Guilford College here in Greensboro, North Carolina. Jeffrey Childs and Aaron Brunk here with you on CoachesAid.com. Chris Kane bringing us our anthem this evening. As the PA announcer gets us going with our starting lineups. And Aaron, lots of Division I talent on both of these <laughs> rosters. It should be a showcase this evening. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm, I haven't had a chance to see a High Point Christian play yet this year, but they have a ton of talent. You've got one going to the SEC, one going to the ACC, another in the Big South, one who's still kind of weighing some of his options. They have five different guys probably playing Division I college basketball next year. Going to be quite the game to watch, and we're happy to bring it to you here on CoachesAid.com this evening. High Point Christian, a high-scoring team averaging nearly 79 points per game this year, shooting 52% from the floor, and they're led by head coach Brandon Clifford in his seventh season with a record of 129 and 61. Technically, High Point Christian is the home team tonight. We're in Greensboro, much closer to Greensboro Days campus, and Greensboro led by head coach Fred Johnson in this matchup. Well, as we spoke of earlier, both of these teams in the top 10 in the state rankings. And if we go a little bit further, High Point Christian number 16 nationally. This is a team that always seems to collect talent year in and year out. And on the other side, Greensboro Day with a national ranking of 167, but don't sell the Bengals short. They're also a team with talent on their roster for tonight's matchup. For High Point Christian, they're led at the point by Ty Graves, number zero, a five foot 11 senior, and a senior guard as well, Mikhail Seals, number three. A six seven senior at the point, number five, that's Amadou Bamba. He's out of Toronto, Canada. And at another guard position, a junior, six foot three, Michael Hewitt, Jr. And finally, rounding him out, the centerpiece, the showcase of the High Point Christian offense, number 13, a six foot 10 senior, Edrice Adebayu, affectionately named Bam. And Bam, we will see quite a bit of tonight. Look at him. He towers over everyone as they go out to take the floor in their white jerseys. We mentioned a little bit earlier, Aaron, he didn't even have, uh, they didn't even have a warm up jacket <laughs> or shirt in his size, so he just <laughs> sort of went without it. Oh, uh, he's. It's going to be fun to watch him. Averaging 20-plus points a game. Uh, it's, this is going to be fun to watch. And the atmosphere is already good. J.P. Mormon to take the jump, opposing Bam. The ball is up, and here we go. Greensboro Day controlling. And right away to a zone look here for High Point Christian. They got, they got the size advantage. We'll see how the zone and Greensboro Day Jalen Cohen dishing in the corner. Now the baseline. And here's a jumper for 15. That one off the mark. High point rebounds. Good ball movement, though, around the zone. Getting an open look first trip. Feel good about that if you're on the Greensboro Day side. And here's high point on the other side. And they'll drive to the hoop and pull up. And that one off the rim. And the rebound slam right away from Bam. Bam with the slam. And now Greensboro coming back, trying to catch. The Cougar sleeping, and that gets the crowd into it. A partisan High Point Christian crowd, even though we mentioned we're here in Greensboro. In addition, side under the hoop, that one too long. Bam just too big underneath, that's tough. It's gonna be a tough matchup all night for them on the blocks. High Point driving and kicking to the corner. Here's a three try, no off the heel. The Bengals back the other way. An early two-point lead for High Point Christian. It's a good look for Hewitt in the corner. He kind of knuckleballed that. Interesting looking shot out of his hand. Didn't have much spin on it. It's William Dillard at the elbow. He'll throw on a bounce pass to the far corner and a triple try from the corner. That one's good. And Greensboro, after a few moments, answers and they take a 3-2 lead. Well, so far they're gonna call that one a two, so we're tied at two here in the early going. Six to play first quarter. 
the tough part about high school ball, you can't go back and look at it. That's going to stay as a two. No, look like a three to both of us. We saw that one will go up on the board, Aaron, and here's high point. They give it to Bam. No surprise in that strategy as he finishes at the rim. Bam again with another two. Greensboro now. Dishing to the three-point line. The fake on the triple from Perkins. He'll dish to the other side. That one no good. That was J.P. Morgan on the try. High point into the front court. Crossover dribble. Nice crossover. And that one just unable to fall. That was Seals with the opportunity. Near corner, a bounce pass, almost out of bounds. Behind the back dribble. And again, Green good job by Greensboro Day moving the ball around the zone. And a spin move inside the free throw line, and it goes. And high point Christian now. Trying to answer back. It's a gutty take by John Newman, though, driving it right at Bam. And here goes high point, they'll drive. Right back at Greensboro on a foul. It's going to be on number two, Trayvon Mayo. Haven't talked much yet about Ty Gray's. Headed to Boston College next year. Really, really good handles on this senior. He's going to be fun to watch in the ACC for a couple years to come. But I love this opportunity to watch these kids play. Graves averaging... 13 points a game, second leading score on the team, tough to top. Anything Bam does on the inside, though. Only 68% of the charity stripe as the second one connects as well. And now it's 6-4, high point Christian here. Four and a half to go in quarter number one. Here's Greensboro directing the offense. Throw that one down to the baseline, trapped over there in the corner. And a bullet pass inside, and they'll kick it back out. And here's a try from deep, and that one's good. <laughs> William Dillard connecting from long range. And now it's 7-6 Greensboro, and here's high point. That three falls off the mark. Greensboro on the front court. Good ball movement again. Greensboro, they love to move that ball. And here's a jumper from just inside the three-point line, and that one falls. That's again, John Newman having himself a nice little first quarter here. And there's Newman, and high point will go over and back. The ball goes over to the Bengals. And the Bengals, the visitors tonight, but right now they've really got this high point crowd in a hush. Not used to seeing their team down like this. Nice job attacking, really good job early on by John Newman to get a couple of shots to go down. He's got six of their nine. And the Bengals <laughs> try to go right back inside as the high point student section has a little, little fun at the visitor's expense. fun to see an atmosphere like this. So you see this sometimes in college where the student section will get on guys, but you don't see it very much in high school. That's really good how well this high point Christian student sections come out. And it comes with a, the top 10 atmosphere that we're bringing you this evening. Here's Dillard with the crossover, almost loses the handle. Gets it over to Smith. Dillard finds himself back up top. Newman. High point, really good on their on-the-ball defense, but high point gives that one up. Greensboro muscling through the foul, and that one tickles the twine. And the end one opportunity early on here, Greensboro Day, a five-point advantage. Just under three to go. Right now it's a 7-0 run for the Bengals. And that's a really good job attacking on the inside. Trayvon Mayo getting up there, hanging in the air. 
And completed it. And completes the three-point play. And he showed his slashing ability that he's known for and that scouts have marveled at, and he slashed his way to the basket there and got the three-point play, Aaron. So make that an 8-0 run now for the Bengals. Doing a good job denying Bam on the inside as well. Ty Graves, the crossover, kicks to the corner. That one short. High point, rebounds the basketball. Three black and green jerseys swarming Bam there on that rebound. And you see the double team come to Bam right away. Here's Seal slashing inside, kicking. And a drive inside and a foul. Ben Robertson. Trying to find a path to the basket, and he will step to the line. How nice is that if you're Brandon Clifford, your sixth man off the bench is a guy headed to Bucknell to play ball next year. Very good advantage to have. And certainly with all this talent, Aaron, you think a team normally of high points caliber, they seem to have good teams year in and year out. The teams can focus on just Bam, but there's so much talent across the board, they really have to be careful of who they leave open in the second one. Doesn't connect, but Bam right there on the rebound, and as he goes up to corral it, his foul on the arm. And Bam, such long arms, whether it's rebounding, shot blocking, can just do so much for head coach Brandon Clifford. And a high trigger, no problem for Bam as he goes up to get it. And Bam trying to cross over, Robertson. Robertson, the bounce pass to the corner. Here's Seals. Seals going to cut inside and kick to Robertson. That one woefully short. But Bam good. rebounds it once, twice, and fouled. <laughs> that was a frustration foul by Solomon, but Solomon Smith, but not a bad foul. If really, don't let him have easy buckets. And if you are going to foul him, don't let him finish. Harkening back to the, we'll call it a hack of Bam <laughs> this evening. Bam only 50% from the charity stripe and rattles that one home. And he's got some touch on the perimeter, Aaron, and he showed his, his dribbling and his ball handling ability early on in that sequence. Second one true. We'll stop the bleeding for now for High Point Christian getting back into it. Three-point game, 12 to nine, here with a minute for 50 to go in the first. Newman gives it up to Trayvon Mayo. Trayvon Mayo is fouled. And a very steady pace early on, but slowed somewhat here by a succession of fouls. That was Ben Robertson who got caught for that foul. Mayo sinks the first. And Mayo averages 11.6 a game for the Bengals. And the lead is four as High Point back the other way. Here's Ty Graves, he'll direct traffic. Graves gonna take it all the way to the hole and Tangle up there in a mass of bodies, and here come the Bengals. That shot is up and good. One thing you notice there, Bam, late to get back on the defense on the interior. Mayo taking advantage. Robertson, the head fake, he swatted at the rim. Oh, wow. John and Newman. Newman. <laughs> John Newman having himself a real nice start to this game. Seegers. Trayvon Mayo will reset the offense. And then go right to the hoop and the reverse layup is good. Get the block on one end, come down, get the bucket on the other. And Newman, a sensational start so far. And the lead is up to 17 to nine for Greensboro Day. And now they look like they're content just to hold the ball here till the end of the quarter, take the final shot. And Brandon Clifford, not the happiest looking coach on the 
Sideline to our right. Bam looks like he wants to go one-on-one -on -one here. He's going to dish to the corner. And here's Robinson. He's got to hoist up a three, and it falls short. And that's the end of the first quarter. After the first quarter of play here at Guilford College, it's Greensboro Day 17, High Point Christian 9. You're watching high school basketball on CoachesAid.com. 